The IUPUI men's soccer team and head coach Steve Franklin will be entering their second season beginning this weekend. The Jaguars have qualified for the four-team Summit League tournament for the fifth straight year and have their sights set clearly on making the 2010 NCAA tournament field. History has shown that seeding isn't the end-all, be-all in the postseason. You know, you may be the number one seed, but the number one seed the last three years hasn't won. Uh, the year the IUPUI won was the four seed, so I mean, anything can happen, and hopefully it's our year. In the past, we've always gone up there and have not played the greatest. But this year we have 28 players and one heart, so I think this year it's a lot different. We're on the same page. Depth has been a key to IUPUI's success this season. Both goalkeepers have earned Summit League Defensive Player of the Week honors at some point during the year while the back line has used at least seven different starters throughout the season. It's uh, not a burden on your shoulders or a weight on your shoulders knowing that you, you could win or lose a game. It's, you got guys that are top 11, top 12 guys that can step in and just be an impact on the team. You don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to be able to provide uh, depth that day. Knowing that one goal probably gives a, a win is uh, great. So just looking for that one goal is a... Uh, it's just helpful just knowing that we don't need two or three to win the game. The midfield has also used a number of different looks, while the forwards, by and large, have stayed the healthiest of any group on the field. Five different Jaguar forwards have scored at least one goal this year, and goal-scoring contributions have come from ten different players overall. More impressive is that six different Jaguars have netted game winners among IEPUI's nine victories. Freshman Jeff Kyler leads IEPUI with five goals, while sophomore Ryan Robinson has three game winners to his credit. Junior Academic All-District selection Perez Agaba has been IUPUI's most active attacker, leading the team with 30 shot attempts and scoring four times in the regular season. Last year we kind of struggled with it, a go-to guy, and then this year, I mean, if somebody has a, a bad game, we know that we've got others that can provide goals for us, provide shots, and uh, everybody just seems to step up when it's their time to shine. IUPUI will head north as the number two seed and will play host Oakland on Friday afternoon. Follow the Jaguars' progress by going to the department's official website at www.iupijags.com.